In this video, we'll delve deeper into how the face ages. We all know that as we grow older, we can develop wrinkles on our foreheads, cross feet, or frown lines. But there's much more to facial aging than meets the eye. In fact, facial aging occurs in all layers of the face, from the skin to the bone and everything in between. Before we discuss the different layers of facial aging, let's briefly examine the triangle of youth. When we are young, our faces have a kind of triangular shape, referred to as a triangle of youth. This means that the upper part of our face is broader and gradually narrows towards the chin, creating a youthful V-shape. Think of high cheekbones, a strong jawline and more volume in the upper parts of your face. However, as time passes, this triangle slowly turns and transforms into what we call the pyramid of aging. This pyramid has a broader base at the bottom due to the sagging of our facial structures and the loss of volume in the upper part of our face. You'll notice things like sagging cheeks and a less defined jawline becoming more apparent, resulting in a general downward shift of facial tissues. The change from a triangle to a pyramid is due to various factors affecting the different layers of your face. For those who don't know me, I am Dr. Kim Tollenare. I am an aesthetic doctor and owner of the Dr. Contour Clinic in Antwerp, Belgium. Welcome to my channel. If you're not familiar with me yet, you can find here information about cosmetic procedures and medical beauty advice like anti-aging and skincare. Now, let's delve deeper into how facial aging manifests in the different layers of the face. We can categorize facial aging into two categories, superficial and deep. Let's start by discussing superficial aging. Superficial aging concerns the skin's surface, including skin texture and tone, the visibility of pores and how smooth our skin looks overall. Here we have our skin layer. Layers. When we are young, our skin surface consists of newer skin cells. But as we age, we accumulate more dead skin cells on the surface and our skin cells don't renew as rapidly, resulting in a duller and less even complexion. Chemical peels, retinoids, retinol, lasers and microneedling can be beneficial because they can help increase cell turnover and exfoliate these older cells, making the superficial skin texture smoother, more even and more refreshed. Besides changing Changes in skin texture, depending on your skin type, you can develop pigmentary changes in the skin, such as sunspots, also known as lentiginous, melasma, and a more uneven skin tone. But now, let's take a look at this woman. She has no wrinkles and her skin is completely radiant and smooth. She has taken good care of her skin throughout her life and has spent very little time in the sun. Yet, you can see that this woman is in her late 40s or 50s. How is that possible? Well, there's a lot happening beneath the skin's surface. So, let's explore what's happening beneath that skin surface. There are three significant aspects we lose over time that significantly contribute to aging. We'll start from deep and work our way up. We're talking about bones, fat pads, and the substances that make your skin elastic, such as collagen and elastin. Let's first address what happens to our facial bones. Our bones are continuously breaking down and reforming. In fact, our bones are constantly in motion. When we are young, we create more new bone than we lose. However, as we age, we lose bone faster than we can replace it. Over the past decade, advanced 3D CAT scans have given us a better understanding of how bone loss occurs in our facial skeleton. We've discovered that this bone loss isn't uniform throughout our face. It occurs in specific areas. Take a look at this image. The red areas on the left indicate where the most bone loss occurs. And on the right, you can see the corresponding soft tissues that support that bone. Going deeper into this, we find Find that bone loss mainly occurs around the eyes, as indicated by those arrows. Bone loss in the upper jaw area results in deeper nasolabial folds, those laugh lines, and it also means less support for your upper lip. The area at the base of your nose, the piriform area, also recedes and deepens with age. Less bone support there can cause the tip of your nose to tilt downward as you get older. And then we have the jawline. It becomes shorter as we age, especially in women. This results in the lower part of our face being being less sharply defined and less support to hold all that soft tissue in place. And guess what? It can lead to a double chin. 
Let's talk about our facial fat. This fat is divided into two categories, superficial and deep. It plays a crucial role in providing volume and shaping our face. Think of young faces as well-filled cushions, precisely in the right places. As the years go by, these fat pads begin to deplete, leading to a loss of support and sagging of the soft tissues. However, there's one particular fat pad we need to pay attention to, and that's the malar fat pad. This plays a significant role in the aging of our face, as especially in the mid-face area. When this fat pad thins, a distinct separation forms between the lower eyelids and the cheeks, and the cheeks also start to sag downward. The reduction of our fat pads also play a significant role in the formation of deep laugh lines, known as nasolabial folds. As time goes on, our fat pads become emptier, resulting in the formation of more compartments in the face. Now, let's talk about collagen and elastin. Collagen is actually the most abundant protein in our entire entire body, making up about 30% of all the protein in our system. You'll find collagen primarily in connective tissues like cartilage, tendons, ligaments and blood vessels. This protein consists of extremely strong fibers and provides strength and firmness to our skin. Then there's elastin. It's also a protein found in our skin and connective tissues. Elastin is responsible for the stretchiness of various body structures, including the skin, blood vessels, tendons and ligaments. While it's not as prevalent as collagen, elastin allows our skin to stretch and return to its original shape. Together. Collagen and elastin are the two key proteins that give the skin its strength, elasticity and shape. When we're young, our skin is rich in collagen and elastin, resulting in a tight and resilient appearance. However, as the years go by, these building blocks decrease, leading to less elastic skin and the development of wrinkles. This becomes particularly evident when we engage our facial muscles, especially around the mouth. You'll notice lines next to our nose and mouth, the so-called laugh lines, small comma-shaped lines around the mouth and lines running downward from the corners of the mouth, known as marionette lines. Unfortunately, we can't prevent the loss of collagen, elastin, fat pads and bone that naturally occurs with time, nor can we stop our facial muscles from weakening or atrophying as we age. However, there are fortunately treatments available such as injecting fillers and collagen stimulating agents at deeper levels of the skin to mitigate the effects of bone and fat tissue loss. We can also use muscle relaxants like Botox to reduce the activity of specific facial muscles. This can help reduce wrinkles and ensure you look more youthful. These are effective treatments to soften the signs of aging and enhance the appearance of your skin. I hope I've provided you with a comprehensive understanding of how the face ages at different levels, from superficial to deep, and what we can do to minimize some of these aging effects. If you found this video interesting, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave a comment down below. For more information, visit my website drcontour.com and follow me on other social media channels. If you're interested in a consultation or treatment, you can book it through the link below or send me a message via WhatsApp or social media. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates. See you soon! Bye!